Hey everyone, it's Zant. Our fifth premium material select is here, and the list has been updated again. Like last time though, very few changes were actually made to it. Now, just regarding some feedback that I got in the last video, people were pointing out lots of different parts and things like that. Just something to note, this isn't a be-all end-all, these are the best three parts for the slot. Like I keep saying, this is really just my opinion as to things that you may want to pick for a quick stat boost or something that may be useful in the long term. If you think that there's a better part for your build, go right ahead and pick it. You don't have to use the guide to determine what you want to pick. It's really just there for those that may be indecisive or are new to the game, things like that. And uh, yeah, just heads up on that, because I notice a lot of people are always saying, why don't you pick this part, why isn't this part on the list, and things like that. So yeah, it's subjective. Okay, now on to the normal disclaimers. It's a 100% subjective tier list. The rules I use to make the list are as follows. 1. Traits that do not require a specific attribute are rated higher. 2. Raw stats are important. 3. Attributes are not considered in this list. 4. Focusing on melee or shot is important, but trying for both isn't recommended. 5. Welfare, pre-reg, and limited and sokai parts are ignored. 6. Only premium material available parts are here, so no events, uh, nothing like that. And seven, I hate physical bazookas, they have no place on this list. So please stop asking why the atomic bazooka isn't on here. You may have noticed I removed the rule I normally bring up where I ignore word tags. But going forward, I'm probably going to be looking, oh no not probably, I am going to be looking at word tags that are on parts to determine whether or not I should put them on the list. I don't know if I'm going to want to go back and redo the entire list based on that. I think most of the parts that are on here are pretty good as they are. Uh, but know that going forward, I will be looking at word tags to determine whether or not I should be swapping parts around. A thing to note, certain buffs do not stack with each other. Awakenings won't stack with Awakenings, but Alpha, Beta, and Gamma options can stack with Awakenings, but not with each other. So Alpha and Alpha won't stack, Alpha and Beta stacks, things like that. This list consists of three parts that I think are very good in no specific order for each slot. If possible, anyways, some part slots don't have good options, outside of like one or maybe two or anything competing for best, so doing it this way lets you pick what works for your build. Don't leave comments though asking me to pick for you or build your machine. Do feel free to join the Discord though, it's in the description, lots of helpful members there who are more than happy to help you. As with all my prior premium select guide videos, there will be parts for melee and shot builds. And if you weren't aware, melee and shot have two core parts they rely on to get their primary stats from. Uh, your shot builds will use head and ranged weapon, melee builds will use arms and melee. Pilots will supplement those stats, and the rest of your parts complement the remaining stat numbers, EX, all that stuff. Premium materials, in case you weren't aware, can be obtained by just playing the game. Every month, we get four events. During these events, two premium materials are distributed. One by playing and completing achievement ladders or things like that, and the other by just logging in. So if you started playing this game halfway through the month, you're out of luck. Now the format of this one's going to be a little different than my past videos. Uh, I used to kind of describe why I picked certain parts and kind of give a brief description as to what they do. I'm going to be cutting that out for this one and the ones going forward because... I don't want to keep reusing the same audio, because that just feels really uh, cheap to do, but simultaneously, I don't really see the need in reiterating myself every single video. So I'm going forward, I'm going to just, the part, the stat, the skill, um, and it's really up to you if you want to look more into it or things like that. Maybe you heard about some parts you might want to pick from your friends or whatever. Most of the skills, like the X skills, are straightforward. Traits will be written out, so there's no beef there. But know that if it is an EX skill, it definitely does complement the main trait, whether it's melee or shot. Anyways, let's get the ball rolling. So starting off with the head slot for melee builds, we have the Pale Rider head. It has 385 melee attack, and the EX skills Hades system. Really nice. Next is the X Divider, 384 melee attack, and its EX skill is Offense Up Gamma. Now, uh, beyond those two parts, you can pick pretty much anything you really want, because uh, those, in my opinion, are the best for melee builds. Uh, everything else, you're just going to maybe want to pick an Eagle Stellan for de debuffs or aesthetics or whatever, but uh, yeah. 
So next up is for shot builds, the head slot. We have the Dynamese head, 3181 shot attack, and its EX skill is Archer Stance Gamma. Then we have the Dual Assault Shroud Head, 3181 shot attack, and its trait, Beam Ranged Weapon Reload Speed, gets increased by a percent. It may be useful for some, not for others. And our last head is the V2, 2791 shot attack, and its trait, if your machine is technique attributed, your shooting power is boosted by a percent. Next up, we're going to go to the Arm Slot for melee builds. We have the Tall Geese Endless Waltz version, 3587 melee attack. Its EX skill is pretty much just a placeholder because you're most likely not going to have enough shot to actually leverage this at all. Uh, it does have an integrated shield though, so you get uh, you take care of two slots with this. It's quite nice. Then you have the Exia Arms, 3177 melee attack. The EX skill is Double Saber Shear. And lastly, the Barbados Arms. A lot of people argue these are best in slot, 2,786 melee attack, and if you have an infighter job, your melee power is boosted by a percent, and that's why. Most of the infighters have 1,600 melee, so this works really well and complements it. Now on to arms for shot builds. We have the Astray Blue Frame, 382 shot attack, and the EX skill is Defense Hack Beta. Then we have the Wing Arms, 1,181 shot attack, and its trait, when armor is less than 70%, enemy melee power is reduced by a percent. This is mostly for the stats. And lastly, the Tall Geese Endless Waltz Arms again, 1,606 shot attack, and its EX skill is Dober Gun. It's practically an instant cross-map laser beam, does a good chunk of damage, quite handy. Next up, the Torso for melee builds. We have the Build Burning, 384 melee attack, and its EX skill, quite nice, uh, really good for melee buff. We have the GP01 Full Burner, 382 melee attack, its EX skill is Combat Stance Gamma. And the last part here for the torso, the Gundam, just base OG, 383 melee attack, and its trait, if you're using a saber weapon, your melee power is boosted by a percent. Okay, now on to torso for shot builds. We have the Beginning 30 Chest, 384 shot attack, and its trait, if your armor is greater than 60%, your EX skill cooldown is reduced by a percent. It's pretty nice. You have the Dynamese Chest, 384 shot attack, and its trait, if your job is long shooter, your shooting power is increased by a percent. So, that's straightforward. And lastly, the V2, 384 shot attack, and its trait, if your job is long shooter, again, your EX skill cooldown in general is reduced by a percent. So, nice. Alright, on to the legs. For melee builds, we have the Red Astray. I assume everyone saw this one coming. 384 melee attack, and its EX skill is Bisect. Uh, arguably, uh, people say that this is probably one of the best skills in the game. Lots of damage, heals, all the fun stuff. And then we have the Wing Legs. 797 melee attack, and its trait, when your armor is less than 70%, your long shot attack is boosted by a percent. Uh, frankly, the trait doesn't really matter. This is a stat stick part, so yeah. Now on to the leg slot for shot builds. We have the V2 legs, 799 shot attack, and its trait, if you're using a bazooka weapon, your projectile speed is increased by a percent, which alleviates a lot of the issues I have with physical bazookas. Then you have the Dynamis, 384 shot attack, and its EX skill is GN Missile. Very low cooldown, decent damage, good for a pocket nuke. And lastly, Earth 3. 382 shot attack. Its trait, when you're using any beam attack, your long shot attack damage is boosted by a percent. And because most ranged weapons are beams, that's quite handy. Alright, now we'll move on to the back slot for melee builds. We have the Sengoku Astray, 383 melee attack, and its EX skill is Particle Fajin one of the best spreads in terms of power and pierce in the game. Then we have the Exia back, 384 melee attack, and its EX skill is Trans Am Raid. Very powerful skill. And lastly, the Build Burning, 384 melee attack, and its EX, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Now, what's neat about all three of these parts, their cutscene skills, very nice. You could optionally use other parts, obviously. Um, but I'm not really sure which other ones in the premium select would really be uh, outstanding, per se. 
All right, and now we're going to move on to the back slot for shot builds. We have the full armor Thunderbolt version, because people would not stop telling me that it's better than the beginning 30 because it has a dash. Look guys, I'm not one to criticize how you play the game, but if you require a dash to be able to land an EX skill, that doesn't make the part better or worse, that just means you gotta practice a little more. But anyways, 383 shot attack, and it's EX skills free improvisation. Like I said, it's a dash, it's a cutscene EX skill, does great damage, uh, very nice and handy to have on a shot build. You have the Dynamuse back, 384 shot attack, and its EX skill is Transam. Very powerful. The uh, free version of this is the Kyrios back, so uh, if you already have that, you don't really need to worry about this too much. And then you have the Legolas, 384 shot attack, and its EX skill is the Legolas cannon. All right, now on to the melee slot for melee builds. We have the Beam Saber from the Victory Gundam, 3,997 melee attack, and its trait, if your machine is technique, your strong melee crit rate is boosted by a percent. Then the Beam Ribbon from the Noble Gundam, 4,004 melee attack, and its EX skill, aptly named Beam Ribbon. And lastly, the Mace, 3,586 melee attack, and its EX skill is Iron Impact. Very handy to have as a pocket heal, among other things, for a melee kit. I did used to say that heals weren't very useful, but with the rebalance to arena health, heals can actually make or break, especially in a 3v3 setup, and because most people will delegate one machine to a support role, more than once I've run into an arena fight where someone just has a bot set to heal, and only heal, it is very annoying to deal with. I don't like it very much, but it is a strategy, and it clearly works. Alright, now on to the melee slot for shot builds. We have the Beam Glaive. I'm not even going to talk about its stats, there's no point. Its EX skill is Hell Jumper. Uh, now, just so you're aware, for melee slot here for the shot builds, all of these in some, well, at least the skills, will reduce enemy resistances. Frankly, that's really all you can ask for with these things, as there's very few melee slots that, or at least in the gacha, that really complement a shot build. Alright, our second part is the Beam Scythe. This was going to be replaced with the Beam Scissors, however I realized the Scythe actually grants you defensive properties versus the Scissors which don't at all. So I'm going to leave the Scythe up here instead of the Scissors because the increase in melee doesn't really help a shot build. The EX skill on this is Deadly Circle, again it's a resistance down skill. Our last part for melee slot for shot builds is the GN Sword. Its trait, if your machine is speed attributed, your initial EX skill charge is increased by a percent. Alright, we're almost at the end here. So our range slot for melee builds, we have the Beam Rifle from the Ale Strike, and its trait, if your machine is speed attributed, your initial EX skill charge is increased by a percent. Then we have the X Divider, and its trait, if your pilot is an outfighter, initial EX skill charge increased by a percent. And lastly, the Legolas Rifle. Its trait, if your machine is technique attributed, initial EX skill charge boosted by a percent. Alright, now we're going to move on to the ranged slot for shot builds. We have the Beam Rifle from the OG Gundam, 3176 shot attack, and its EX skill last shooting. Then we have the GN Sniper Rifle, which is the Dynamese weapon, 4004 shot attack, which is the current upper ceiling for range damage, and its trait, Beam Ranged Weapon Reload Speed by a percent. This is definitely more of a stat stick style weapon. And lastly, the Big Beam Bazooka, all caps intended. 3,590 shot attack, and its EX skill is Big Beam Bazooka. And our final slot, the shield. The only thing that's really on here is the wing, 797 melee attack, 384 shot attack. It's the only one with offensive stats in the game. It does have the EX skill shield bash, but it's definitely more of a stat style thing. Rule 1, don't get hit. But if you do think you're going to be taking damage and getting hit, you may want to look at other shields that bring defensive stats to the table. I merely mark this down because I prefer offensive stats over everything, definitely glass cannon, um, and I think that this fits the bill out of everything available. Okay, so with that, I've kind of updated the list here. Now, hopefully the new way that I'm presenting this isn't, uh, isn't too much for you, you know. I don't know if people really needed me describing what all the skills and stuff did. I've noticed in the past that sometimes I misspeak regarding them as well. There's a lot of information to sift through for these videos, and because of the layout of the spreadsheets and all that, um, it does sometimes get a little garbled. 
So I figured it's easier to just present you with the options, and if something sounds interesting to you, you can open it up yourself when it gets into the shop and take a look. Because obviously the best way to make a decision is if you see it yourself. Anyways, I'm not going to ramble on anymore guys. Uh, we do have the video tomorrow, well, I guess it's, yeah, it's like 28 hours or something, uh, with the new content that's dropping. So I'm looking forward to that, I don't know about you guys. Uh, hopefully the Night Gundam and the Sazabi have some decent stats to them. Anyways, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.